Freut es mich sehr, dass ich äh, Antonio Andreoli ankündigen darf, der sich große Hoffnungen machen darf, dass seine Bauernuniversität äh, Frontera do Sul überleben wird, aber auch noch ein paar andere Anliegen hat. Also bitte, der Floor is yours. Antonio Andreoli. Thank you again for the invitation. I'm very happy to speak after my neighbor from Santa Catarina. It's only a hundred kilometer distance. And I say thank you to Thomas Hager. He is taking some pictures and he has made an exposition of photos, small farmers in Brasilia and in Germany. Uni University Frontera del Sul, what is it? It is the first university of small farmers with a guarantee by the state. Via Campesina has created it in three federal states, 10,000 students, 5,000 employees, and the first university which has been created in order to give place to the landless. So it is a whole university which cares about the subject of the renewable energy, ecological agriculture, education, regional development, uh, animal liberation, respecting their needs. Um, they care about all this subject, holistic approach in agriculture. I never thought that such an opportunity could live. Uh, we had fought for so many years, and it was exactly the first president without a diploma who founded this university. The other particular aspect is the following one. The small farmers have been there in the moment of the foundation of the university. I think it does not exist anywhere else in the world, have farmers in the council, um, having them participating in the decision-making of the different subjects which are taught in our university, so sustainability, all these uh, main points, they have got a general conception. So we have this approach. There is um, the food, and uh, we have to deal with agricultural science, with medicine, with food science. All this has to have an interdisciplinary approach. And this is the concept we want to maintain the biological diversity. So it's so diverse. Maybe there is not a second university anywhere else in the world during the election of the president, of the vice president during the election. Well, everybody who votes comes from the civil society have such a kind of concept was something very complicated in the uh, last year. So it was incredible. Uh, Benny told it before we tried to cut it off. Well, they tried to cut it off during the last years, but despite of all these efforts, the university has survived. So it is the first university with a campus on close to an indigen community. Well, there has been Bolsonaro in these past years, all the things you know about, but you have to look what you can still rescue. Um, there are these tensions, there are the contradictions in the uh, minds of the people in the, uh, the, the agriculture industry has financed 
the, on the 8th of uh, January. Uh, the protest movement we have got now this picture that was so dark here in the middle of the plantation with modified organism and there is this construction site for the university for the agriculture economy. So there is this contradiction, green revolution, despite of all this. This university has been created. It is to fight for a better Bei der Beteiligung an Forschungsanstalten, bei der Entwicklung von Wissen, und das macht einen riesigen Unterschied, besonders für diese Jugendlichen, die dann auch ja, 87 Prozent für all these young people, they are 18, 30 percent of our students, we have got a lot of indigenous students among our students, and I would like to say thank you to all our partners, Brot für die Welt and so on, they have been able to support us in such uh, difficult moments, so thank you, I can now be in favor of something, and I don't have to speak against something, because this is why I want to say thank you.